Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a shirt bigger. So I made this shirt a couple of years ago. I love the color, I loved everything about it, but it was sitting in my closet and I was not wearing it. And I realized the reason I was not wearing it is because it was just a little tight in some places. It was a little uncomfortable. It just, I didn't want to put it on and wear it because it, I would be uncomfortable during the day. So I realized I had some extra fabric and I added these panels to the side to just give it that extra room that I needed to make it comfortable. And then now I will pull it out of my closet and wear it. This tutorial, I did it with a shirt that I made and I had matching fabric, but the tutorial will work for any woven shirt that you have. Um, as long as you have a similar fabric or a contrasting fabric, it doesn't really matter as long as it has a similar drape and it's something that you like and then you will wear it. I did not go up like a huge amount. I'm not going up many, many sizes to make this work. Um, it's probably going up two sizes um, with of the amount of panel. You could probably go up a couple of sizes, um, even a little bit bigger than this, and it will work just fine. This does not alter the neckline or the shoulders. It really just adds room, a little bit room in the sleeves, and then room to the circumference of the shirt like all the way around. It does not add any length. This is a great project for um, shirts that just are a little uncomfortable because they're too tight or if you just change sizes a little bit and you love a shirt and you still want it to work, this is a great project for that. This is not something that will drastically alter a shirt. It really is just to help um, it's really just to adjust the shirt in a couple of sizes. So let's get started. For this project, you're going to need your shirt. Um, you're going to need fabric that is very similar, either in color, you want it to feel similar. You can see how this fabric is very light and this fabric is very light. Um, you can do a contrasting, you can, you know, we're, since we're doing something on the side, you can have it be a different color or a print or something. And then you will need some fabric scissors. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to take the shirt and pull it right side out so we can see the side seam. And what you're going to do is you're actually just going to cut this seam allowance off of the whole side seam all the way up. I've cut out both of the seam allowances from each side so I can open my shirt all the way up, like, like all the way out. So now what we're going to do, we're gonna move the shirt to the side. We are going to use this. This is the um, one of the side seams. We're going to use this to cut out new fabric. This is the length that we need. The one thing that you're going to need to add is some um, hem allowance on each side so it is going to be just a little bit longer than this but this is a great guide for um, us to know how much like to how long our rectangle needs to be so if I put out my piece on this board you can see that it is about my side seam is about 16 and a half inches so I am going to actually just cut it 18 inches long so I can have a quarter inch double fold hem allowance on one side and then I can have a half inch double fold hem allowance on the other side. So that means I need a one inch for hem allowance on this side and I need a half inch hem allowance for this side. The, the deeper hem I'm going to use in the sleeve because my sleeve, my original sleeve had kind of a cuff and then the hem on the bottom of the bodice was just a tiny hem. And then you have to decide how much width you want to add. I'm going to cut my pieces 
my 18 inches long and then I'm going to cut them three inches wide. So I'm cutting two pieces that are three inches wide. Um, after you use some of the sides into the seam allowance and then you're losing seam allowance of your shirt, it will be adding about two inches um, on each side to the shirt. Now I'm going to take <clears throat> the sides and I'm going to do sew the hems on each side. So these have been hemmed. This is the tiny hem that's going on the bottom of the bodice and this is the deeper hem that is going on the sleeve. So we're going to use only one at a time. We're going to take our shirt and so this is the right side, but we're going to be working on it um, from the wrong side. So with right sides together, you're going to take your piece and we are going to pin it right sides together to one side. So it would be like this. And then this other side is going to be right sides together on this side. So we're pinning two sides together at the same time. Now we're going to sew each side of this piece that we put in. You're going to sew at a 3 8 inch seam allowance with a straight stitch and you're going to back stitch when you start and when you stop. Now we are going to do the same to this other side seam. Now what we're going to do is we're going to finish the edges of each of these four seams. So I have a serger and that's what I will be using. You can also use a zigzag stitch. Now that these seams are finished, we are going to press them towards, all the seams are going to be pressed towards this small piece that we added just like this. The last thing we need to do is now you have just kind of like these seams that the seam allowances are just kind of flopping around. So what I like to do is I like to 
took my serger thread, if you have a serger thread, it doesn't really matter, but I like to tuck this seam allowance behind the hem of whichever direction it's going. And I just pin it in place like this. So then I'm going to come with a sewing machine in the front and I'm just gonna sew where that hem is just right on that stitching. And that will secure the seam allowance going the direction you want it to go and it keeps it from poking out like underneath that hem. So I'm going to do that to all, to both sides, four places. So that's eight places that I'm tacking the seam allowance. And that's how you make a shirt bigger using this tutorial. It's really great to be able to keep the clothes that you love by altering them or refashioning them just a little bit so that they work perfectly for you, your lifestyle, and your body. Check out these playlists with um, all different like alteration projects or refashioning and upcycling projects. I can't wait to see any shirts that you make bigger. Please share them with me on social media and I hope you have a wonderful day.